Hello honeys and welcome back to my channel. I am Bumblebee Fern. You can find me over on Instagram at the Frolicking Fern. And today we have our witches box. Y'all, I was so slacking in October. I did not even open, I have still have not opened my October witches moon box or any of my other boxes really. So from October. So I'm very excited to finally get to open a witch's moon box again. I missed it so much and I just really need this magic in my life right now. So let's get into it. All right. So I don't even know what this theme was because I've been so out of the loop. Ooh. So we have our pamphlet here and right away we have an oracle card that says Kuan Yin. So Kuan Yin is a beautiful goddess, I believe of compassion and, and is also celebrated in the Buddhist um, culture or religion. But it says on the back, enjoy the journey of life. Be not afraid of its mysteries. Take a chance and follow your heart. You are, guide, you are guided and protected by Kuan Yin, goddess of mercy, compassion, and transformation. If you haven't been wavering about proceeding with something that is dear to you, then, is your, then this is your confirmation. Just do it. Love that. Beautiful message. And yeah, for real, y'all. Just do it. Get out there and do it. Don't make excuses for yourself. Don't um, don't let anything stand in your way because there's so many things that are just that are um, that are possible if you really just set out to get it done. So, oh, the witch in the wind is our theme this month. That's really exciting. So I will leave this pamphlet for read here in a little bit. You gonna stay there? Yes, you are. Perfect. Okay, so right on top, ooh, we have a little package here. I see some some beautiful thing here. I'm guessing it is a sigil. Yes. Ooh, no. So we have a little sigil here on a piece of paper. These are so perfect for your book of shadows too. If you want to keep them in there, y'all. I just love putting everything in my like grimoire book of shadows, like junk journal place, so I can just put them in pockets and all kinds of cool things, but let's see what else we have in here. I'm just gonna pull it all out. Oh, what? So we have our little pack of Book of Shadows and Grimoire pages and artwork. So we have our candle invocation. They're gorgeous, gorgeous. Work done by A.E. Alden. I always love her work. Um, the Watchful Minds or the Watchful Winds beautiful i'm not gonna read the whole thing but by um by g ibis so that is gorgeous and actually i just realized i don't know much about the witch's moon creators at all and they actually closed off their instagram to comment so i'm not really sure why they did that please let me know, know down in the description if you know because i really enjoyed commenting on their their photos and everything. So I'm curious why they close them off because I've only seen love go to them. But um, yeah, I don't know if G-Ibis is the creator or what, um, who they are exactly, but that is definitely a name that comes up in multiple boxes. So, ooh, wow. So we have the different directions, I believe. Let me make sure before I say that. Yep, so we have east, west, north, and south, or south and north. So different, the different directions here, one for each. That is amazing. Like, look at that in elements that go along with them as well. So, wow, a whole collection of grimoire artworks. That is so pretty. I love that. I get so excited with their artwork because it is just, it's really frame worthy honestly. So I'm going to put these here. Okay, perfect. And then we also have our, wow, lots of artwork for this box. Beautiful. So we haven't even gotten to the box yet, y'all. Wow. Okay. So let's open her up. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty. Okay, we're not gonna open the big item yet, but we have oh, 
every time y'all I have such a hard time pronouncing Enlil, 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 Breath of Enlil, Sacred Salt. So correct me on what that says. <laughs> I have no idea, but it looks like it has some bay in there. Let's go to smell. Ooh, we have some calendula, or not calendula, but chamomile in here. It smells very nice. Definitely some mint and chamomile, which is like one of my favorite combos. I'm pretty sure that's mint in there. Yeah, it's lingering in my nose and I can definitely tell it's a minty smell beautiful though i love that combo together i'll have to read what else is in there here in a little bit we have our oil let's see what our oil is how much do you bet down below if i'll be able to pronounce it i'm betting i won't we have oh i can't pronounce it it's the four winds nice and simple i love it so the four winds and beautiful herby oil love it that is so pretty wow look at just chock full of gorgeous herbs oh beautiful smelling too i really really enjoy this blend very like herby and really yeah light and airy and just delicious smelling something I definitely wouldn't mind like using on my body because it's not too overpowering so I really like that but it's still like very nice smelling Ooh, we have a spray an aura spray here which I love it's a nice little collection of their aura sprays so I love adding to the collection we've got what are you in a nice breast bottle gentle air so i'm trying to think i think we might have i think we definitely got a soul soul and then i can't remember what other um thing right now yes nice and minty um beautiful beautiful scent refreshing Mmm. Ooh, there's something else in there too that is a bit more herby. That smells really good. I really, really enjoy this. This is a really good one for just, I feel like uplifting and waking up your mind and um, inspiring movement. That's what I just, that's what just rolled off my tongue. Take, take what you will from that. Well, fail. Okay, I can't keep it standing to save my life, so we're going with that. What do we have here? We have a nice little paper bag. Paper baggy. I feel like a lot of this stuff is not usual. Like, I must have missed so much <laughs> the time I've been gone. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, they're just changing it up and putting things in bags. Like, I'm all thrown off because it's been so long. Healing. So, we have anise seeds or anise i always say anise so but anise seeds i wonder if that smells the same as star anise Ooh, we have linden leaves so maybe that's what it is instead of bay like i've been thinking it is linden leaf it looks much softer than bay it's very nice and chicory beautiful i actually just ran out of all my chicory fruit because i used it to make my dandelion tea Mm, yeah, chicory totally reminds me of slummy, which is like a dried plum treat for a, um, a Chinese dried plum treat. So it's really, really good and smells just like chicory. But yeah, definitely smells like star anise. Maybe not as strong, but <clears throat> ha has that smell for sure. And let's see what the linden leaf smells like. Hmm, I'm not smelling much. Okay, I can smell a little bit more of like an herby smell, so that is really cool. Um, very nice and subtle, so I'm very excited about that. I can't wait to see what else that is used for. I'm sure maybe it even says in our one of our Book of Shadows pages, so that's really cool. Love adding new herbies to my apothecary. We have a nice little um beautiful blue sachet here it's 
so let's see what it is. I have that beautiful blue sachet to my collection. <gasps> so, I have a crystal. Oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. We have a nice little selenite palm stone. Beautiful. Selenite is such a beautiful connection stone. So, gorgeous. Like, look at that. What do you call it? I don't, I wouldn't even really call it like a flash, but I guess it kind of is. It is just so pretty. I always feel like there's so much dimension in that flash. And, oh, yes. Ooh, this piece is like really, ooh, it's like giving me chills. And like waves of like energy. That feels really powerful actually. And I usually don't connect super strongly with selenite, so that's surprising. I really like that. I'm excited about that piece. So we have a nice candle here. Let's see what color she is. Comment down below what color you think it will be with our winds theme. Oh, I just saw some. And it's the color I was expecting. Oh yes, and it's like actually um, dressed with some herbs on here. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. I love when they dress their candles. Like, I don't know why, it just makes me so happy to open up a dressed candle. It's so pretty. And oh, I love it. I'm not sure what this is actually. It doesn't look like lavender. Maybe it is, I'm not sure. But some kind of floral or something. That is really, really pretty in this gorgeous light blue color. All right, so wow, look at our beautiful collection so far. Okay, so I know you can see this and I don't even know what it is yet, but I'm gonna pull out our incense instead. <laughs> so Remembrance incense, that's really pretty. Remembrance, and let's give her a smell. Hmm. Very nice and again, subtle. Like I'm really enjoying the subtle scents this month. There's like a, what is the word I'm looking for? Very almost like perfumey, but there's something in it that's almost like, it's, a, it's very sharp. It's something that reminds me, what does it remind me of? I think maybe it just reminds me of some kind of perfume that I've smelled growing up, but very, very nice, pretty scent, very sharp and clean feeling. So that is really pretty. And it's funny that it's called Remembrance because I can't remember what it smells like, <laughs> but that is really nice. I really like how it's not super overpowering, like I've said before, like sometimes, which, which is also really nice because you can actually, June Mermaid, I believe it was, said that, or gave the idea to you, if you have an incense that's like, like super kick you in the face strong, you can actually burn it outside while you're reading a book or in the garden, whatever you happen to be doing out there. But um, a lot of times like those incenses that are like so strong, they actually just like overpower my senses and they just kind of overwhelm me a little bit. So it's really light. I really enjoy the kind of lighter sense um, a lot of times. So that's really, really nice. Okay. I don't think we can avoid it any longer. I think we have to pick this baby up. See what it is. Whoa. Oh. Okay. I haven't even looked at it yet, but wow. This is freaking cool. Holy crap. And it's wood. Like, that makes me so happy. I love, love, love natural elements so much more than I like, um, like a casted, um, like plastic or resin, which is funny because I have resin, but they have flowers in them. So I love them, but this is wood and it feels so nice. So just like natural and beautiful and <laughs> wow. So definitely, so it says the, the witch's moon on the back. So it was specially crafted for them. That is so beautiful. The wind spirit. That is amazing. Let me see, is this the guy? Is this father wind that is here? The north wind. Yes, I believe he is supposed to be Boreas. 
Yes, maybe that's who that this is. Maybe that's who this is supposed to be. Boreas. Or Boreas. Gorgeous. So this is what I'm looking at right now. So North Wind. I'm assuming that is who this is supposed to be, which is beautiful. And I would actually love to have um, all of these, like something in the very similar. Like for me, if I'm gonna hang something up and, and like that is, if it was like North, East, South, West, it would have to be like, they would all have to match. It couldn't be like one of them is like this and then another one is like plastic or something like that. Like I would really appreciate if it actually all matched together and they were a similar style as this. So I hope that maybe we get that, that would be amazing. I know that we had fire in a couple of our witches roots. So very excited about that. I think that everything in here so let's get to our pamphlet. Okay, I'm sorry you can't see everything, but a lot of it is like flat stuff that's really hard to stand up. But <clears throat> we have, at last the witch sat quietly among the deep forest trees. Oh, I love that beginning. As she spoke to the soil and sang to the leaves, she began to wonder. Combing through the list of challenges she currently faces, she inhaled deeply, sighing on circumstances ahead. Breaking the silence, a strong wind brushed against her face as if to wake her. A gentle yet important reminder has been passed to her by the watchful winds, providing her with messages and insight that she may choose to inspire and empower her. In this very special November Witches Moon collection, we work with the spirits of the wind, allowing us to call upon the deep and intimate energies that waft within them. In this one-of-a-kind collection, we provide exclusive tools that are created to enhance the magic that flows along the ever-changing path ahead. It is important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in this box and use them in a way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideals and ways of performing ritual. We do not take this work lightly and strive to provide the highest quality ritual items for you to use. Be sure to clear your space and cast your circle of protection before performing any type of ritual. The magical in the items in this box are as follows. So we have our hand carved wind spirit statue or plaque, beautiful. So, and then we have the effortlet, effortlet, little really effortless movement sigil we have our wind correspondences book of shadows artworks hand rolled the watchful wind spell candle the watchful winds incantation book of shadows artwork we have the four winds magical anointing oil down there breathe of a nail sacred salt we have gentle air ritual aura spray selenite palm stone Remembrance Ritual Sticks. And then Linden Leaf. Okay, so I'm gonna read a little bit about this. Linden Leaf, known for its protective qualities, Linden Leaf is most commonly seen growing in gardens as a measure of safety against psychic and physical attacks. As well as protection, Linden Leaf is used during ritual to keep spirits present and alive while you work with their, work through your practices. We recommend placing Linden upon your altar during divina, divinatory practices to maintain a source of communication. Oh, that's beautiful. Very, very nice. And then chicory, the remover of obstacles. Anise seeds for, for to maintain relaxation and a sense of calm. Personalized oracle reading. And then parchment paper, which is our last piece of paper on here that they give you so you can write different rituals or different, um, different things you found or your personal notes down. So super amazing witch's moon box. I actually really, really enjoyed this. It was a beautiful one to get back back into the game with. Really enjoyed that. I'm really excited to see what the October box was now. I can't believe I missed the most exciting, typically the most exciting month of the year for witches. And I missed all my unboxings. What happened? So I can't wait to see that. Can't wait to see what is in store for that box. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe and become part of our honey coven. We are growing amazing. Y'all, we just reached 2000 subs. Like the honey coven is growing so quick. We have an amazing discord group. I love, even though I haven't been super, super um, active on there, I love just hearing all of you and seeing all of you talk to each other and co connect with each other and meet each other, really get to know each other. It makes, it means so much to me that I was able to help facilitate 
just that connection between people and it makes me very happy. So yes, so please join us if you have not subscribed already. We would love to have you. We are very loving and and yes, so I think that's everything. I'll talk to y'all later. Blessed be. Bye.